Two years ago, I moved most of my music production away from my MacBook Pro and over to my iPad Air 3. In this video, I'd like to give you four reasons why I did that. Almost exactly two years to the day, I sat at the desk behind me and I went on YouTube looking for information about how I might be able to use my iPad for music. What I wanted to do was, was take my old iPad on stage with me and widen my sound because it's just me and an acoustic guitar and I thought maybe I could run like a keyboard through it or something like that. What I found was this whole world of iOS music producers. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's like I fell down a rabbit hole. There was all these people making amazing music with these amazing apps. I knew nothing about this stuff. I came across some amazing YouTube channels that helped me understand and helped me learn the basics of iOS music production because it is very much a world within itself. I'm coming from Logic and sort of standard software, so I had to start from scratch really. The first channel I came across was Jakob Hack. His channel is amazing. I learned all the basics of iOS music production by watching his videos. Then later I discovered Henny the Business, another amazing channel, really great presenter. He has videos on all the apps and also the accessories that you need. I just couldn't have done it without those two guys. Then I found the sound test room. I was going on that guy's channel every night, learning and seeing what apps he had or what apps he was sort of recommending. Then I came across the Audio Bus Forum, which is just an incredible hub of information. Anything you need to know about iOS music production is there. And there are, there are people there that are willing to help novices like myself grow and learn. All the apps that are coming out, they all come out in the Audio Bus Forum. It's an amazing community. I never put any comments on any of the stuff, but I'm there every day learning, seeing what apps are coming out. And without those, sort of sources of information and resources, I just couldn't have done it. So I'd like to give you four reasons why I think iOS music production is amazing. Reason number one, the obvious reason really, most of the apps available sound absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe the sound that was coming out of my little iPad. I'm used to watching videos on the screen and all of a sudden I'm hearing these beautiful inspiring sounds that are sort of left of field, unusual sounds that were just so inspiring for me as a songwriter. I couldn't believe that there's this whole world of amazing and interesting apps and possibilities within music, all from this little screen. Reason number two, a sense of experimentation. It's my understanding that most of the people that make these apps are sort of maverick geniuses. They make these incredible, intricate, complicated, fun, beautifully sounding apps, and they do it from a sort of left of center sort of perspective. They're not coming from a traditional software sort of perspective. So you get these apps that do these crazy things, reverbs on top of delays, on top of flanges, and it's just this sense of experimentation that is very inspiring for a songwriter like myself. Reason number three, most apps are affordable. Most apps that I bought cost between five and $15. That sort of adds to the sense of experimentation because you can sort of take a chance on an app and see if it sort of works or if it fits within your workflow. When you buy traditional software for the computer, it can be so expensive that you're not really willing to take too much of a chance with it. Whereas when an app costs five or 10 or $15, you'll give it a go. And it sort of pushes that sense of experimentation that I've found so inspiring. I bought apps that I've only maybe used twice, but they're so crazy and they've added so much to a certain song that you think I couldn't have written that song without that sort of fun sounding app. Reason number four, mobility. I can take this pretty much anywhere I want to go. This was sort of a dream 20 years ago for someone like myself. I was always trying to find little keyboards. I was always looking for toy keyboards that I could maybe write melodies on. Now I don't have to worry. I can put this, I could almost put this in my pocket. I can take it anywhere I go. And anytime I got some downtime, I can open it up, start writing, recording, mixing, do whatever I want. This, like I say, 20 years ago was a dream. I'd like to finish this video by playing you some very short examples of some of the apps that I have on my iPad. They're not necessarily my favorite apps. They're just apps that I chose randomly this morning while I was putting together this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram. You can find my music on Spotify. But for now, I'd like to play you some music. Thank you.